Hey guys, I'm getting ready to make some granola bars. I thought I would share it with you. In here I have three cups of oats. And over here, in this pot, I'm gonna put a half a cup, are you guys cricket? Oh, there we go. A half a cup of honey. This is the honey that I'm using. and three-fourths a cup of almond butter. You can use peanut butter, though. Actually, that's what the recipe is. It's peanut butter, but I'm using this almond butter. Actually, I think I'm just about out of it, too, so. Uh, let me put this in here. I think I have just enough for this recipe. I'm gonna heat this all up on low. I think both of my spatulas are in the dishwasher. <laughs> and you can pretty much add whatever you want to it to your oats, like, um, you know, dried fruit or nuts or whatever. I think I'm going to add chocolate chips, cranberries, raisins, and I think that might be it. I have coconut, but if I want Dave to try these, which I would like him to, he won't eat them with the coconut. He doesn't like coconut. So I'm going to leave that out. And I have nuts too, but I'm not a fan of nuts in the uh, granola bars. I don't know why. kind of like them to be soft and chewy, you know, not crunchy. So we'll just let that go till it all melts. Back to our oats. I'm going to add about a half a cup of raisins. And a half a cup of mini chocolate chips. These are just those enjoy life ones, the dairy free. And a half a cup of cranberries. Actually, going to add about a teaspoon of vanilla. You want to preheat your oven to three twenty five. Oh, this is, this is getting there. And let's get a pan. Which, of course, I don't have a pan. Because that is how it works. How does that happen? Ah. All right, I wanted to use a baking pan, but... I have two in the oven, one in the fridge, and one in the dishwasher, so <laughs> I'm just going to use a cookie sheet. I think it will be fine. I'm going to cover your cookie sheet with foil and grease it. Um, I don't know. You can use butter, spray. I'm going to use spray. turn this peanut butter mixture off too because I think it's done.
redo. Pour the peanut butter and honey and vanilla mixture in. Now, I really wish I had some of those gloves that I use when I'm cooking sometimes because the best way to do this is with your hands. But of course, I'm all out of them. You never have what you need when you need it. Oh, this smells so good. We're just going to mix it all together. Better to do it with your hand. You just get it all mixed better that way. It smells so good. So once you get it all mixed together, add everything that you want. Spread it out onto this pan. I want them to be kind of thick, so let me go over here. I'll show you guys what you can do if you don't have gloves or it's just too sticky. I'm going to use a piece of plastic wrap to press it all down. All right, let me get some plastic wrap and Wash my sticky hand off. I'm just going to use some plastic wrap to help push it down. them in the oven for 20, 20 to 25 minutes. Here they are. Now because I'm impatient, I already cut them, <laughs> but you should wait for them to totally cool off. And then cut them and they are delicious. They're so good. I'm just going to eat them all. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Very good. They're still hot. <laughs> Alright guys, hope you like this one. Uh-oh, telephone. See you later.